Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to compute the monthly payment and the internal rate of return for a mortgage amount that you wish to borrow. And we will see how to control for points. Supposing your mortgage lender charges, say, two points or one point or something like that, how do you factor that in to your calculation of the actual interest rate that you're paying for your mortgage? To get started, we'll first assume that we have a $300,000 mortgage that the lender is charging 2 percentage points on it and that the quoted interest rate is 5% per year and the term of the mortgage is 15 years. That means you need to repay it in 15 years. The monthly payment is to be calculated using the P PMT function equals PMT. The rate is the quoted interest rate divided by 12 because the quoted interest rate is 5% per year, you have to divide that by 12 to get the interest rate per month. The number of periods is uh, 15 years times 12, which is 180. The present value is $300,000, which is what you're borrowing. The future value is zero. And let's say you are making your repayments at the end of each period. So I'll just put a zero here as well. So that'll be your monthly payments. $2,372.38. Now the thing to notice here is you're borrowing $300,000. You need to repay this $300,000 over 15 years at a 5% interest rate. But out of the 300,000, you are paying 2% of this amount as points. That means you're going to be paying something like $6,000 as points to the lender upfront, right at the very beginning. So in year zero, which is right now, your cash flow is $300,000 minus the $6,000. So you have $294,000 to pay for your home. But over the next 15 years, you will be repaying uh, a sum of $2,372.38 towards a principal of $300,000. So that's the principle behind points. Now to compute the cash flows. What we're going to do is uh, first I just want to freeze this space here. So I'm just going to, you know, get the ribbon here and uh, go to view and freeze panes and click on this here. Next, I would like to compute. Well, actually, I'll change this to month, not here. I'd like to compute the monthly cash flow. So months one, two, three, four, and so on. I can keep going that, that way. Or I can make use of um, a nice function that's available here and if you go to home and click on this icon here in editing there's an icon that has a down arrow and if you click that you should click on the series button here and here you can specify that you want a series in columns because we want to fill values in the column and we want to have a step value of one that means we want every additional number in this column to increase by one and the stop value should be 15 years times 12 months per year that is 180 that is 15 times 12. I just want to point out one thing that you should already have the number one typed in here in the cell B10 which is this cell here you should have the number one typed in and then you should begin this series um, specification so once you specify that you want to have the series in columns, step value of one and stop value of 180, then you can click OK. And when you do that, you'll see that Excel has automatically filled in the numbers all the way from one to 180 for you. So you don't have to type that. And now your monthly cash flow is nothing but the monthly payment that we calculated here. And let me just copy this equals C10 and now I can just double click on this fill handle here and it'll copy all the way down and now you can see that I'm just pressing control and down arrow control down and now you can see that the figure two thousand three seventy two dollars and thirty eight cents is copied all the way to the 188th month and uh, so that completes our cash flows now based on these cash flows an incoming cash flow of two ninety four thousand dollars that you can use for paying your mortgage and your outgoing monthly cash flow of $2,372.38 to service this loan 
what is the internal rate of return or or the effective annual interest rate okay or the eair okay so let me just write that here the effective annual interest rate so how do you um, how do you compute that so the irr or the eair is nothing but all these cash flows and i just supply a guess interest rate of 10 percent and press enter and now you can see that the monthly irr is 0.44 percent or the annual irr is this times 12 which is converted to percentages 5.31 percent so while the quoted interest rate is five percent your actual effective annual interest rate is three five point three one percent because you're paying upfront two percentage points to the lender you're paying six thousand dollars out of the three hundred thousand dollars to the lender as points and you only have the remaining amount uh, available the amount of two ninety four thousand dollars available for your uh, for buying the house so that's the reason why your internal rate of return or the effective annual interest rate EAIR is 5.31% instead of 5%. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.